Hi everyone, welcome back. I thought I should give you some ideas about how to use the uh, videos that I've created. First thing that comes to mind is those who are really good at their maths. I think that they're confident with their maths. If you pick a topic, for example, like trigonometry, and you think, I'm really good at it, uh, beware the trap. Biggest thing we do in math is forget. Second biggest thing we do in math is get mixed up. Just see it all the time. You see people, or well, me when I was at school, I know things. I was right, at, I was in the right in the top of my school, and uh, I'd just forget stuff. It'd be the night before the exam, and I'd have to just go over things just to brainwash myself to memorise it. Constant problem of just forgetting things. So if you look at some of the videos, say again like the trigonometry, and you go to the non-right trig if you're up to that, and you work through the trig, and no, no, start again. You go to say the last video. Have a look and see what it is, if it's more complicated, and if it might be all you need and you just brush up your memory. If you suddenly realise you're hesitating on anything, then you can go back to earlier videos. Don't want you going through all of them. And sometimes if you're really good at it, you might go to the third or fourth video. Have a look. But when you look at it, you'll see what I've got on the board and there might be four questions and you look at, for example, you might be some solving equation. You go, oh yeah, the first two, I've done them a million times. And then you look at the last one and you go, I'm not sure about that. Just keep ahead and go to those. Now for those who are struggling with their maths or not as confident with their maths, go to the first one. Now here's the big thing. If you look at the first video and you think, mm, I'm okay, but I'm not quite okay with it, I'm not comfortable, it's really important, leave it for that day. Oh, you could come back hours later. I would rather say, leave it for that day and come back the next day and watch it again. It's amazing what happens in our brains when you watch something one day and you're not comfortable with it, it still happens to me. And then you look at it the next day and suddenly it clicks or you suddenly go, oh, okay. As I, at my age, still learn new concepts, new math things to teach I've never taught before. When they bring in new materials in the curriculum, I have to go and learn it. And sometimes I read it and I go, oh my goodness, I sort of understand, but I don't really. And then the next day I read it again or I watch a video on it and suddenly go, oh, now I understand what it is. The other big thing is to get in the routine of watching two videos a day. I try, especially for the year sevens and eights. Try to keep them short, I try to keep them below five minutes. So sometimes it just goes beyond that, but really I try to keep it below five minutes. So you watch one video that you watched previously, and then you watch a video that's new. And so that routine all the time of just one old, one new. It might be, for example, that you do it straight after you have your evening meal, and you just sit down and watch those couple of videos. Another secret if it was me, oh, how many times I was in the car with my parents and we were driving somewhere and I could have just, if I had those days, didn't have a mobile phone, brought out my mobile phone and just had to listen and watch a video, maybe watched a couple and just went, this is brainwashing because, oh, no matter what I said to myself, I was not one of those people who could study two or three or four nights before an assessment. I always left it to the night before. There was something about it, and people talk about don't cram, but for me that night before was freshen up my brain, and it'd be scary how much I'd actually forgotten. So if I could have been just watching videos and going, oh, I've forgotten that, I thought I was right with it. Or, for example, go to the logs and go to the, I think about the last video of it, at the moment is about 10, and go to that last video and go, yeah, I knew that, yes, I knew that, oh, I didn't quite know that, that's different to what I thought of. So it's just time, consolidation, build your brains up. I hope it helps. If parents are watching this, I hope it helps. Teachers, think about when you're teaching something, how often you consolidate and help the students to get it into their brain. One of the things I don't explain is on my YouTube videos is when you press like and you press subscribe, it puts me up the, it actually promotes me in the system. So the more I get of that, the more known I get out there and the more seen, uh, more I get my videos seen. Thanks for watching, I'm just gonna go make some more videos.